Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Hans. Ooh, poor Zach. My name is Hans. I am here to fill in for Zach's voice as his camera video stopped video recording the voice. It seems like he does curls, he does biceps, but uh, very little else. And today he is doing what every BMW owner has to do on their old crappy BMWs every five years, and that is a cooling system refresh. Inside of these cardboard boxes are BMW cooling parts, which he is going to unbox magically here in a moment. But first, he's going to talk and talk and talk and talk because that's what YouTubers do to pad their videos so they're long enough so they can put mid-roll ads and get the most monetization. Before we get started though, Zach is going to show us how as the 17th owner of this BMW, he must differentiate himself from every other and 60 year old BMW owner. And here comes a sticker. So he can proudly profess that he belongs to this horrible Facebook group, this anti BMW BMW club, where basically all the BMW owners just basically crap on their cars, talk about how terrible they are. It is quite funny. And there he is peeling. Oh, he's peeling it. What you must do is apply some sort of signal that you are not just your typical young BMW used owner and instead signify to the entire world that you do not like this car, you are owning it ironically. Oh, the next lines, yes, 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 yes. Oh, the next lines, yes, 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 yes. This BMW is hated by its owner and it is being driven as a form of penance for sins against humanity. And there you go. Isn't that hilarious? Because I love BMWs, but I also hate them. And now everybody behind me will know that too. Ah, oh, here's when he got pulled over. Not pulled over. The car was left on the side of the road. He abandoned it. And uh, the police put that sticker on his door to say, hey, your car's a piece of crap. There's the door handle. It's still there. That's still good. Oh, here's me in front of some boxes again. He doesn't know how to open boxes, apparently. Except he's got the power of Q and... Wait, was that his wife's Amazon box? A big black... We're gonna have to get that debagged and we'll move on to the next part. Coolant hose with a plastic end on it. That plastic end explodes like every single BMW cooling system thing. Here, oh, more magic, oh my gosh. That was a frighteningly good YouTube trick. You can see I jumped back. Here's a credit card. I don't need that. And oh, look at this. This is another hose in a plastic bag. More hoses that make me feel inadequate. But what else is in there? Box. Oh, this one I'm just going to open in real time. Sorry, no YouTube tricks for you guys. Ah, is this a... This box contains not BMW parts, but performance parts for Jake's relationship. A blue, a uh, little blue pill? I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a coolant bottle. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a coolant expansion tank. It looks a little oddly shaped. Everything looks phallic to me for some reason today. Certainly seems to be made of plastic. Well, it has a hole, but that'll fail in five years like every single BMW plastic part. I have no idea what that is. It looks like a child's gun. Um, maybe it's a bracket for a radiator, if I'm guessing. I'll look at it a few more times, inspect it a little bit more. He's explaining what he's going to do, but since he left his microphone unplugged, you aren't going to know. But he's basically replacing the entire cooling system on the car, because he should. Talk, 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 talk. Like I said, padding for more time so he gets more money on YouTube. And the final thing is the radiators. More magic. Ooh, magic. Oh, yes, a radiator, which I think is what actually failed on the car, but he's doing a while you're there kind of stuff. Would you just look at it? Now I need to figure out how those other two hoses hook onto it. It's so shiny and so ready to fail the next time. And, and there he is. There he goes. Next part should be easy in theory. Just and now it's jumped away. I guess he's able to talk now. Dropping this in. Navigate around those power steering lines, and then just got to put tab A into slot B. 
which is difficult to do when I can't see what I'm doing. Next up is the lower radiator hose. And this is one of those little BMW details I really like. It's just kind of uh, how incredibly over-engineered these quick connect fittings are. Just push it on. And it's now in place. And this came with a new coolant sensor because these will always leak if they are not replaced. And uh, you might as well just get the one that's already built in to your hose so that it never has to come apart. And the same with this one. There we go. <laughs> A nice new lower radiator hose. Next up is gonna be the coolant expansion tank and what I've determined is the coolant level sensor which goes, it, go, <laughs> it goes in and then twist. It's really stiff, it's, it's fine. That's very strange. My new coolant tank did not come with a new uh, clip here. So I'm just gonna slide, I grabbed the old one and I'm just gonna stick that on in. There we go. So that's what'll click into place and retain this. Let's put it down we go. Make sure everything's lined up. Ah, the top hose. There we go. There we go, click. And one click, two clicks. That is now an intact cooling system on my E46. This one's Blue Gatorade. And I missed. My wife does always tell me my aim is crap, so you know. So I just realized that my microphone cable was really, really loose in my camera this whole time. So I'm sure that like half of the clips have no audio for this video, so that's Excellent. Anyway, I went to the most reliable source of information in the world being uh, some random dude on an internet forum who says that what you do is you take the cap off, you take the bleeder screw off, and you fill this up until coolant bubbles out of there with the car cold. That makes sure that there is no air bubbles. Then you put the cap on, you put the screw on, and you start the car up and let it get up to temperature. Unfortunately, while I was explaining that in the previous clip that had no audio, I flicked the um, bleeder screw into this pile of boxes. So if you'll excuse me, I need to go search for that and then we can uh, get this thing up to temperature. All right, well, I've been driving around for about 20 minutes now. Temp gauge went up to middle, stayed right there. And uh, yeah, I just did a couple of uh, pulls to red line and no weird smells, no weird sounds, no weird smoke. I think that I'm gonna call this particular project good for now. That is one refreshed cooling system, more or less. There are a couple more hoses that I could do, but they require the removal of the intake manifold. So they will happen at some point. I do intend on getting that pipe under the intake dealt with when I redo the CCV system, which is coming up at some point. E46 maintenance never stops, but I got in this and remembered why I liked it so much. I, I mean, I like all of my cars. I own them all for a reason. They all fulfill very different purposes. And this is just such a good all-rounder. You know, the Buick is fast in a straight line and really comfy. This is quick, reasonably comfy, handles pretty good, sounds really good. That's, 
I love the straight six noise. Also, left-handed shifting. Huh? Yeah, come on, your boy's talented. <laughs> or stupid, probably both, really. Okay, I am gonna go get some carry out, and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, it's me, Jake. I'm back in my garage and it's not freezing for once. You can tell by my t-shirt and the fact that you can't see my breath. Boip, 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 boip. Oh, oh my God, this the ironic sticker. Oh, careful, it's almost done. Looks like the engine cover of a BMW, a little plastic thing. Speaking of plastic, yeah, BMWs, they don't know what they're doing. All right, here's where I got a DUI. Oh, just kidding, that's from when the BMW broke down. But that was pretty easy, so let's litter in my garage.